Hey, welcome to your temple. If you guys are liking the content, please smash that like and subscribe. And if you guys do subscribe, comment down below so that I, I can personally thank you myself. And uh, let's get into the workout. God bless. Bicep, tricep workout. We're going to try to get through it as quick as I can because I need to get through it. And um, let's get into it. Joseph Lee, do you hear her? So, let's begin the workout. All right. All right, when I do these, I'm pushing it away. Stay cool. Have a good workout. Hey, thank you, man. All I'm doing is bringing this up to like my head. Try to keep my elbows in one spot and extending now. Let me get my protein drink real quick. <sighs> Cables are good, guys. If you guys are out there and you, you got a really sore body, I don't know about you guys, but I get really, really sore just because um, working out for me is hard, man. It, it does a lot. I have a torn shoulder and I have a really bad back. Even as I'm lifting, it's hurting, but something I've come to realize is is um, cables, tremendously helpful. Like incredibly, incredibly helpful. If you guys are out there and you're, and you're really seeking to, to find a good workout but you don't wanna bring great injury to yourself, maybe you're like me, maybe you're already injured, right? And whatever workout you go and do, you're just hurting, 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 right? Cables. Cables will help with aging, cables will help with all that. But something I also got to say is, as I've aged, um, I'm also kind of getting pushed away from working out because I'm not, I don't want to hurt my body. Like, I don't mind hurting my body for the right reason, but I don't want to hurt my body and find that, like, that's what's also hurting my back so bad, and, and I worry about this. And, and so, stopped working out for a couple of days and started to kind of test, like, how I feel. My body was so hurting, and, and so it's... To me, I think I'm going to hurt no matter what, no matter what I go and do, no matter how I try to be active, um, my body's going to hurt me. And that's just, that just when that occurs, man, you just got to find a place that you say, okay, maybe I'll work out, but I'm not going to work out to a point of destroying my body. I'm not doing this to be unhealthy. I'm doing this to be healthy. So always find that, that you know, that middle ground, right? Once again, like you don't, you don't want to be that dude that like, yeah, I'm, it's, it's like how we were talking about sin earlier. You become a bodybuilder, you, you're obsessed with the body. And then as you age, your body starts to break on you. And then you wind up having all these other problems because of what you did to your body earlier in life. And so I think it's really important to to find a middle ground there, to, to you know, find things that are good for you. It's like when you see people get older, they start to run, they start to walk, they start to do things that are um, more cardio. And, and I agree with that because you don't want to injure your body. You, you want to take care of it.
And how I feel about working out. It can be good when you're young. But I think as you age, it becomes a problem. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just does. It becomes a problem. People want to be ripped and all that when they're old, but what they don't understand is your body, it gets beat. And it's just not, yeah. And so for me personally, I'm trying to find that happy middle. Who knows, though? Right? This is why I realized, though, guys, the Holy Spirit is self-control. It is self-control. So whatever you're doing out there, ask yourself, right, is this healthy? Is it good? Or is what I'm doing just destroying myself for what? I mean, I'm asking myself these questions right now. You know, like, I don't want to destroy myself. And the man who just thinks like he knows, no. Sometimes you can blind yourself, man. You may know, too. You may know. But with me, I'm trying to determine. I like these though, they remind me of skull crushers. I like that extension up towards the head. But even then guys, you know, I just, I constantly want to meditate on is what I'm doing good or bad. I think we all, we all should be meditating on that, you know, and not by my own standards of what is good and what is bad, but I'm 40 years old. I want to work out, but I want to do it the right way, right? I don't want to push it into a point where what I'm doing it's destroying my body, right? If I'm going to get ripped and I'm going to be yada, 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 but I'm truly not healthy on the inside, what does that matter? Right? Like if I'm just suffering and in great pain, what does that matter? Like I'm not saying that working out doesn't bring pain. It does, right? And there's a good pain, and I get that. But th when your body is injured like mine and you just keep working out, you could be bringing more problems to yourself. And so I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning, man. And I'm open to it. And kind of like I told you guys, I quit working out for a little bit there just to see like, how do I really feel? And not by like my own worldly standards, but like how, like, is it good? My conclusion is this, 
no matter what, I'm going to um, do anything in life, it's going to hurt. And if that's the case, well, then so be it. Then work out. Because laziness, right, being lazy, that ain't it, right? And so my pastor says this, don't give up one sin for another. I think that, that that's a, an amazingly great point. Like, I don't want to just, okay, well, I'm going to stop working out and now I'm going to be lazy. Like, no. So if doing anything hurts me, well, you're just going to have to hurt. And so then we're under this, we're under this situation and saying, well, then how can I do this? Let it be healthy without destroying myself. And this is just seeking the Lord, man. I'm telling you, I was ready to stop working out completely. If it wasn't healthy, it's not healthy. And if it is, then I'll keep going. But demonstrate self-control. Ah. This is why I say to y'all out there, man, if what you guys are doing out there, you know, it's just pain from working out, well, keep going. But if you have injuries, you know, test every spirit, man. Figure out, like, is what I'm doing really good? And, and seek it with God's understanding. Don't seek it in your own self-righteousness. But seek it through what is just. You know? Oh. How often I'm willing, though, to give up one sin to just obtain another one. It's so, it's so true. It's why you find, like, self-control is the key. Self-control. shaking good blood flow good blood pump all right you can see right we're just we're getting through this workout pretty quick this is how I like to work out you know just moving get this pump get gains you know grow and, and then Get on with the day. If we're just sitting here for too long, I realized too, I used to work out a little bit too fast. I realized, get your air. Like once your breathing gets back under control, right? Then get back under it. The oxygen is bringing healing to your muscle. So, as you get your breathing under control, then get back under it. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about like in this much time and that much time. I used to say within thirty seconds, but I don't know. I really think it's more to do with just. You're breathing.
of an angle here. Ah, uh, you can see guys when I'm doing these, I'm bringing it down and I'm rotating that outward, right? I'm coming here and I'm rotating that out. I'm rotating it out. It's hands down, like going from here down. And then when I'm coming down, I'm rotating my hands down and in. So my hands are going from here to here, to here, to here. All right, so to here, because if I'm just doing this, look, if I'm just doing this up and down, like that's all right. I'm not saying that that's bad. Sometimes I'll do that at the end of my workouts or just bringing it wide, right? Wide, bringing it apart like that, right? Like that's not bad, but I find this like that, right? Bringing it like that you see and if you guys can see my hands I'm bringing them here and I'm turning it in to really get into that right so from here if I'm going out you can see my tricep it's not really doing much and if I'm going straight down it's not really doing much but if I put my thumbs in look at that it just brings that whole horseshoe in and so and that's what I want. I want that horseshoe to come through. So be rotating your hands. All right. See that? Whereas if we're doing this, not even straight down. Now watch this. That's it, right? Oh, that hurts. In every good way, that hurts, though. So. I gotta work on this belly though, man. <laughs> I really gotta start doing it. Alright, let's go. I hope you guys are growing out there, man. I hope you guys are really growing. Alright, just keep pushing, keep going. And you're going to achieve. You will. You know, it's... A saying that I absolutely love, it's just put one foot in front of the other. Like, I am gonna work out today. But when I started, it started feeling really good. Once I got going, well, that's kind of life, man. The beginning can be the hardest, so just keep pushing. And it's easy to eat bad. It's easy to be lazy. But your habits will catch up.
Alright. Alright, that's his last our last lift, man. So here we go. I'm gonna keep my hands inside here. And I, I want you guys to see this once again. When my hands go up here, I, I bring them really close together, right? See that? But then when I go to rotate, I turn it. So when I turn this, this thing turns, right? Right? And when I turn it, point it downward, it makes that beautiful tricep. See, if I'm just like this, up and down, doesn't really, you know, but in the wrist is where you grow. If you turn it and twist it, see that tricep be created? Okay. And then you grab the back side of it. Here, and just both I find to be effective. Like the back roll, right? When you get the back roll going on that back arm, I like it, but I feel like the front roll, you should point that tricep down you get a really good, um, really works on that side try. And so that longer head part of the tricep, I, I just, I really like these four. If I'm going backwards and I'm rolling my wrist back, I really get a, once I bring my wrist backwards when doing it at the bottom, though, not at the top, don't bring it back back here, but at the bottom, bring it back. I really feel it on the, the back of the, the arm, so. Always remember when you guys are working out your triceps, it's it's all in your wrist. It's all in the wrist, man. The way you do it, I'm sure the elbows need to remain somewhat still. I think when we're extending up towards the head, you can let your elbows come a little bit up. Um, but majority of the time, we're keeping the elbows still, just like with the, the bicep. Um, but I think when we, we turn the wrist at the bottom of the movement, or turn the wrist backwards at the bottom of the movement, these little details are massive. They're massive. Like they're massive and growing because how we flex our arm, you know, is massive. If, if, if I'm just, let me give you an example right now. If I'm just taking this, right? And I'm just going up and down. So my hands are in, close. And I'm just going up and down, okay? That's a pretty good tricep. I'm not saying it's not, right? Up and down, right? Not bad, okay? But watch this, when I, when I turn this like this, my hands go down at the bottom, watch. So we're here, now hands go down at the bottom. Look at that, that's tremendously different. Point it down, right? And so I wanna show you guys what I'm doing here. And so you guys can do it in the gym. Is I'm taking my hands and I'm pointing it down, right? Instead of just going like this, you can see it engages the tricep, and I'm not saying it don't, right? It does, but then, you see that? I'm pointing it downward. Pointing it downward. Turning it downward. And so you can see, right, in the way that we're utilizing our wrist when we're pointing it down and we're rolling that wrist down, you can see how it just brings that tricep out and how it really works into that whole horseshoe, right? Whereas if you're just keeping it like up and down, you may be bringing like a mass to it, but you're not actually digging into the definition of it. And so when we're flexing and we're getting that massive good flex, 
It's because we're actually digging into the muscle. So try that, you know, when you guys hit the gym. Let me know what you think about it. You guys just get to growing, man. Get to growing. Um, once again, down, roll. That's our tricep workout, and now let's get to the bicep. Um, try my best uh, to record this the best I can. But you guys are kind of kind of be in a tough position here. All right, let's try that. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it, but whatever. I tried. Um, so, what we're going to be doing is we have an actual preacher bar we're going to be curling. Then we have a straight bar we're going to be curling. And then we have these individual cables that I'm going to grab and just yoke up some reps with. This isn't gonna be a massive bicep workout, not at all. This is gonna be a simple bicep workout done as quickly as possible. So, that's why I like to sing fire though, man. Anything I wanna do in a, in a quick, timely fashion, I can do. I, I'm not like, confound to one workout. I can actually get many. All right. So when I go to curl here, I want it halfway down my hands. In other words, I'm gonna unclip it real quick. Let me show you guys. When I'm doing this, right, I want my hands to be like that. You might go, why, Chris? Why don't you want it all the way across like this? Because in the index and the pinky um, have, um, how do I put it? A great connection to the bicep. And so when we put it in our index and we put it in our pinky, right? And we're coming up and we're squeezing it, right? I'm just gonna put it like this. Go to Athlete X, okay? I watched that dude and he had just a great, great video on the, the index and the pinky and how they work. And so then I started to say, well, how can I hit my index? Like, how can I get a better workout in my biceps? And I found putting this bar halfway down in the middle of my hand, okay, has allowed me to then on the top, turn my pinky and turn my index finger in. And as I'm turning them in, I get a better um, raise on my biceps. I get a better peak contraction on my biceps. And so I put it halfway in my hands, I come up, squeeze it at the top, even turn a little bit and try to lift it with the inside of my, my hands getting a great connection with the bicep, coming back down and controlling it. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. Once again, as far over as I wanna go is to the middle finger, not really even going there. I'm bending my, my back, I mean bending my leg so I get my back out of it. And I'm just coming up here, controlling it. And you can see when I'm doing this, just a massive connection in that bicep. I like to do a set of 15 because it's the beginning of my reps. It's right in the beginning. 
I want to get blood to it. I want to, you know, before I start to put on some weight, I want to get a nice pump going on. But I also don't want to go so heavy that it's going to affect my heavy lifts. You guys, warm ups out there, um, go a little lighter so that it doesn't affect your strength. And then, you know, go as you see fit. But I find when we when we go a little heavy in the beginning of our workout, we can destroy the workout. So watch how heavy you go in the beginning. And I realize, guys, after each set, get your air back. Get your air back under you. Um, I, I used to say, well, wait 30 seconds, right? I'm, I'm not a fan of that anymore. Get your air. Get your breathing under control. Once that becomes under control, go back to lifting. Your air brings oxygen to your muscles, which then brings, we we'll just make it simple, brings healing to the muscle. And so get your breathing under, under control. You'll have a better pump. Sometimes all those scientific terms isn't going to help anybody because they're not going to understand them. Yeah. Well, mind you guys, I'm working out with like 80 pounds, 100 pounds, and not a lot of weight. Okay. All right, hands in the middle, bending the knees. guys wanting to work out don't feel so good you know my back was hurting it still is but when I got warmed up you know I'm starting to move a lot better and uh, that's just a sign of when you guys aren't feeling good out there man one foot in front of the other one foot in front of the other I'm gonna ask my wife a question real quick. Hey babe, can you message Naomi and find out like when Apple Orchard is over? Yeah. That way I don't run too late. Yeah. Thank you, babe. Alright. And I, you know, and I got a place I gotta go to, man. I gotta hand out water. I don't know how far I'm gonna have to walk to, to hand out this water, but. I want to wet my hair real quick. I'll be right back. I don't want to get that beating on. Nasty. We have to be out there by three. Okay. We have to be. I want to get out there right now. Ah! My brother's out there feeding people, giving them water, giving them the word. Let's go. I want to be with him. 
What? Thank you, babe. Oh. Gotta at least try. I'm all working out, having a hard time walking all day yesterday. Really in a lot of pain. Woke up today feeling pretty dang well. Praise God. And now we're gonna go get some people some water. Hopefully some living water. <clears throat> Guys out there, man, support your brothers and sisters in Christ. Support them. Do whatever you can. Whether it's just saying, hey, you're doing a great job, right? Don't always gotta be money. A lot of times, just, just keep it up. That means a lot. Yeah. Man, fuck, I gotta get there. Gotta get there. Workouts for the biceps, man. We're gonna skip the preacher that I was gonna be doing because I gotta get out there, man, with my brothers. I'm gonna try to walk. I'm standing on this rubber right now on the ground, it's helping so much. But um, even lifting these weights, it's uncomfortable, and I feel like if I can lift these weights, I can go preach the gospel. What's more important, guys? What's more important than handing somebody water? And Tell them about Jesus. Nothing. Nothing. You know, if you guys looked at this world as a dying world, and that you have the key to life, you have the key of Jesus Christ, the key that the whole world needs to unlock eternity, would you not give it to them? Would you not set aside all that your image and, oh no, what about me? Or how am I that going to make me look? And just say, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Um, your house is on fire, right? And I'm going to help get you out. It's love. And we can't force it, right? We can't force it. But we sh can surely give the gospel. Many ways to do it. But it's important to start, start at sin. Start with sin. Not popular, people don't want to hear they're a sinner, but start with it. And then work your way through the wilderness, right? Just like Moses, out of the wilderness, through the Red Sea, to God, to Jesus Christ, right? And once you understand that they have cancer and they need a cure, give them the cure. This is why I love um, what's that little dude's name? Living Waters? I can't remember his name right now, but he has the perfect way of doing it. Because it's reveal sin, and then it's, and here's forgiveness.
All right, let's finish it up. Let's just finish it up. I gotta go, man. I'm so, I'm so grateful God just gave me a burning desire. A love for people, man. A love for the lost. You know how I got so much love for the lost? Because I was lost. Why I got so, mo so much love for a sinning world, a dying world, because I'm part of that dying world. Because I love you guys, man. Okay. And I don't want to see one human being perish. I don't want to see one of you. Right? Okay. Jesus Christ made a way. Jesus Christ, our King, came. God in the flesh came down. Think about that. Off his throne to lay his life down. To lay his life down for you and for me. The God of the universe laid his life down, died for you and for me. Can there be any greater love than one who lays his life down? No. Matter of fact, there can't. There can't be a greater love. Right, we see this in the United States of America when our soldiers go, or even across the world, where soldiers go, lay their life down for their country. Can there be any greater love than a man who says, I'm willing to die for you? There cannot be. Matter of fact, I'll even argue that there is not. We're going to bend our knees, and then we're going to curl. Bring him in. I'm gonna be real with you guys, man. This is gonna be my last set. I gotta get out there. My brothers and sisters, they need me. I was built for this. I gotta get out there. There's nothing more important than Jesus Christ. And so we go. So we go into a dying world in need of Jesus, in need of, of holiness, in need of sanctification. I tell you right now, though, my justification is Jesus. The day I ever go before the Father and says, Why should I let you in heaven? It won't be of one good thing I ever did. No, I'm a wretched sinner. But I will. I will remind him. Do you remember? Do you remember what happened at Calvary? Do you remember what justified me and my sins? Do you know? While you'll blot out my transgressions. While you'll see my iniquities no more. And then I'll hear, well done, good and faithful servant. Believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs>
That's it. Let's superset it. Let's do one more set. All right, boys, about ready. You about ready? We got to go. Jesus, Joseph. Joseph, we got to go. If it ain't done, I don't care. We're going. Or you can sing. You can do it tomorrow or tonight. He's been with me the last couple hours, just like I know. trying to say he can't do it, not and trying to not do it. So know? that's it. So we're going. I felt like rewarding him with Apple Festival that he's like not got that done. You know, it's kind of frustrating. That's kind of my problem. Well, he can sit in the damn car. I don't know. I don't care. We're going. I'm trying, I guess these kids are ready. That's it. Guys. I gotta go preach the good news. I gotta go preach the forgiveness of sins. The good news. Jesus Christ of Nazareth came and died for you. Bore your sins on the cross. God came in the flesh and died for you and for me. Repent and believe in Christ. Follow him. Turn from this world. Turn from your wicked ways and trust in Jesus. God bless you all. I'm out. Peace.